Kids are swarming indoor playgrounds this September school holidays. Two major operators are seeing crowds bounce back close to or even above pre-pandemic levels. And they're looking to cash in on the demand. Melissa Go with a report. School's out and these kids know it. Tourists used to make up 30% of visitors at this two-story playground that's set within a mall. With tourism still recovering, locals are more than making up for the shortfall with a 10% bump in traffic. Not really travelling because of COVID, so just check out the places in Singapore, yeah. We need out to have some fun, yeah, instead of keep staying at home, watching the iPad or these. The increased interest and what the company observes to be a change in the retail climate are fueling ideas for expansion. Uh, there's higher online consumptions for retail in general. However, people still need to come out to play, to dine, to shop. Um, so we see that there's more and more need for an entertainment option. And they are not the only one eyeing an expansion. We do see a healthy demand, and especially from the mall and attraction perspective. And location-based entertainment is also something the mall is looking at, especially during the COVID. It is banking on that and plans to open three more outlets in the heartlands, as well as several more in the region. But manpower continues to be a challenge. Looking after this 1,800 square foot playground with kids as young as a year old calls for a dozen or so staff. But with business livening up across sectors, competition for labour is keen. I think Singapore is quite well known now we're a shortage of the manpower, either local or the uh, foreign workers, right? So we have to increase the cost for the staffing cost to attract the talent. Ticket prices at birth playgrounds have increased this year, taking into account higher costs. But the businesses are still staying vigilant, keeping up with disinfecting schedules to make sure it's good, clean fun for the kids.